to use your favorite VSTIs in Site Resolve 14, you need to install two components. The first one is DDMF Meta Plugin. It's a VSD chainer that costs about 50 euros, but it's worth the money because it also has a 32-bit uh, bridge, so you can use your 32-bit VSD plugins as well. But you can download the demo version for now. The only limitation is that it will not reload the presets when you close and open your project in Resolve again. The second one is called MIDI In by Insert Piz here. Um, his website is currently down, so I provided a download link uh, from my Google Drive. You need to extract the MIDI in DLL into your VST plugins folder. And then you need to configure the VST plugin path inside DaVinci Resolve. You can do that by going to the preferences panel, uh, clicking on audio plugins and making sure the right path is entered here. Now, if everything went right, you should see the meta plugin uh, in the list below. Okay. So, now we're gonna go into the Fairlight page and we're gonna add an auxiliary bus right here. And we do that by going to the Fairlight menu, the bus format window and clicking on aux. That will add an auxiliary bus. We'll just change it to stereo here and click OK. It appears on the right side, but you have to uh, resize the panel for now in order for it to appear. Now we're going to add uh, the meta plugin as an insert, right? And here we have the meta plugin interface. There should be the VST plugins, but you need to scan the VST folder again. And that's by clicking on the options button there and making sure the correct path is there and clicking on the scan button. The scanning will take some time, but a list of VST plugins will appear on the left side. Now you have to search for insert Pizz's um, MIDI in plugin. Okay, so if you found it, uh, just drag it onto the workspace and uh, we're gonna uh, scrap the default MIDI input. We're not gonna use it. We're gonna use our uh, new MIDI in plugin. Double click it to open the interface and from the list select your MIDI interface. All right, now we're gonna add contact. And instead of dragging, you can also right click into the uh, workspace and then you can select contact from the VST list that shows up there. So contact five, it's quite large. Just move it aside a bit. And we have to connect the MIDI output to the MIDI input of contact five and patch the audio outputs to the output of the meta plugin. So, when we do that, we double click contact and then it opens the user interface and we're going to add our Foley instrument to it. Now, uh, the video that we were using were soldiers uh, walking into puddles of water in the fields. So I'm just going to uh, find a sound that I need. Okay, we'll take some boots in uh, grass and dirt and take puddles of mud, adjust the microphone level, stuff like that. And then when we close, okay, what we have to do now is we have to add a new audio track and patch the auxiliary bus's outputs to its inputs. So we do that by going to the Fairlight uh, patch input output window. We're gonna select uh, auxiliary bus out, click the first uh, left and right bus because that's a bus we have created right here. Then in destination, uh, choose track input and there we have the track that we just created. Select left and right and then patch. Okay, so now we have to arm the track for recording, right? Okay, let's display the video preview window so I can see what I'm actually doing. And then I'll press the record button and we can go ahead and record footsteps. Okay. 
Okay, so now these are recorded. Let's mute the original track. Okay, that's not going to be my best Foley work so far. But there you have it. We have recorded an instrument's output to a new track that you can use in Resolve. Okay, but one of the bigger drawbacks of working this way is that the MIDI plugin will crash if you load it multiple times. So if you have two auxiliary buses and you uh, create two meta plugins and two MIDI in plugins using the same keyboard, Resolve will crash. So you will need to be very careful uh, when you create new auxiliary buses and new instruments. You always have to delete the MIDI in plugin that you're not currently using. I know it's a drag, but at least we can work with it. You can also do the same thing for uh, musical instruments, by the way. Let's just uh, quickly demonstrate that with a piano, just for fun. Okay, so all I have left to say for you is that if you have the uh, full version of Meta Plugin, so not the demo version, then your presets will be restored when you open uh, the project again. So my footstep configuration is intact and saved inside the DaVinci Resolve project. Thank you for watching and listening, and I hope that this tutorial has been of some use to you.